Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my monthly favorites um, for the month of Aug August. It's October. <laughs> And um, yeah, October is pretty much already over and that is, I feel like that's so crazy. I feel like it was just like, I feel like I just did my last monthly favorites. So um, yeah, let's just get right into it. There are a few things. There are no hates, um, but there are things that I wanted to update you guys on. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So my first... My first favorite is this guy. I'm absolutely madly in love. This is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. Um, I think the colors are fantastic. I love that she included a mirror this time. And um, I have a few videos using this, so I will definitely link them down below for you guys. But yeah, I think the packaging is amazing. The eyeshadows blend like a dream. I just, there's not much more I can ask um, in an eyeshadow palette. And the next one is also from her. Um, this is her rose gold palette. This is her original eyeshadow palette. It looks like that. It's been out for a few years. And I think this one, um, the eyeshadows are just as fantastic. I wish there was a mirror, but there's not. That's something she improved upon um, in the other palette. But this one gives me the reds and the warms the, that... The Desert Dusk does not, and they're just as fantastic. So that one is definitely a favorite. And then this guy has stayed top shelf ever since I bought it. I think it is so... It's so much better than all the other Morphe, Morphe palettes that I've tried. And it's not like they're bad or anything, but this one... The shadows are so creamy and blendable. It's like they almost blend themselves. It's They're absolutely amazing. And the shades in here, I'll give you guys another look. There's just so much you can do with it. And yeah, I just, I absolutely love it. And um, the packaging on that I love way more than the normal plastic um, clothes on the regular Morphe palettes. So there's that. And... This is a perfume that I have been madly, madly in love with. Um, it is, this is by Muggler, I think that's how you say it. I'm not quite sure. Um, but it's the Alien perfume. And yeah, it just smells, this has um, Freesia in it, which I am, as you guys probably know from last month's, Anything that has freesia in it, I just want to like rub all over my body. It smells so good to me. It's one of my favorite scents. Um, and this one just stays on your body all day long. And then <clears throat> this guy, of course, had to weasel its way into another one of my favorites. This is the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Very long name. <laughs> but um, I just feel like... When you put this on, it almost feels like it's a lotion, like a moisturizing um, kind of primer, which I don't normally like because I have <clears throat> very oily skin, but I really don't mind this. I feel like every single foundation that I use with this, it just makes it 10 times better. Um, like I said last month, or maybe a few videos ago, um, there are a few foundations that I didn't even like and I used it with this primer and I just like madly fell in love. I don't know what it is about this but I love it. Um, and the Fenty foundation um, I didn't really love. I I think I told you guys this last time but um, I tried it out a few times and it just wasn't for me. Um, I mean the shade was literally a perfect match. I thought it was amazing but um, it just didn't really blow my mind and you guys saw my foundation collection I have a lot of foundations so if something isn't amazing I'm not gonna keep it around just for the hype and my last favorite to show you guys is the Ciate London Wonder Wand Mascara and this is in Black Magic which I think is fitting for the month and it looks like this so this kind of reminds me um, and the formula actually reminds me of it too, but the wand reminds me of the Better Than Sex wand or also the L'Oreal Lash Paradise wand. 
and I actually got this in a little um, holiday package I did a video on it the other day I will link that below for you guys um, and it was a whole um, Ciate London Chloe Morello haul so there was there was this mascara um, that I'm now in love with um, and an eyeshadow palette, um, a really nice um, felt tip liner, and a liquid velvet um, that's in kind of a nude color. So, And that whole package was actually a really good deal. I got all those things for about 50 bucks. So um, if you can get your hands on it, I think it's a really, really great deal and I think it'd make a really good gift um, if you don't want to keep it. <laughs> so yeah and then um oh this is this is my last favorite so you guys don't normally see me put my lashes on because it takes me so long to do um I'm definitely not an expert at putting my lashes on <laughs> but um I have tried out a few lash glues and this one is my absolute favorite it keeps my lashes on and I have very watery eyes um I've probably mentioned it in a few of my videos that I have really bad allergies so my eyes water all the time so I have to get um, liners and lash glue and stuff that will last through my watery eyes and this um, keeps my lashes on all all day long um, so this is the house of lashes eyelash adhesive so this is in the clear one that is what I use um, on my lashes and this is the only lash glue I use I actually used to use um, I think it was like duo lash glue and I've I've used some other ones but that one is definitely the one that keeps my lashes on all day long so I wanted to update you on this guy this is the um, Urban Decay Troublemaker mascara they just um, I think they came out with this a little while ago so, and I don't think they have a color, I think it's just black. So this is supposed to be, um, I think volumizing, lengthening, sex proof, all that kind of good stuff. Um, again, I haven't tried this during sex, so I don't know if it's sex proof. Um, but, first of all, I, I love the packaging, and that really shouldn't be a reason why I love a product, but the packaging is so pretty. Um, it's like... It kind of has this like iridescence and then a clear plastic on the outside but the wand um, it has plastic bristles and let me zoom you guys in so you can see so that is what the wand looks like um, like the pr plastic bristles kind of curve and they're shorter on one side and then longer on the other side and they're just kind of supposed to grab your lashes and this mascara um i don't think is anything special it's definitely a pretty mascara and but it does um at least on me it flakes a little bit it doesn't last all day long so i don't think it would be sex proof um if you were to be honest like rubbing your face in a pillow or anything like that um i don't i don't think this would last <laughs> but um I do think it's a pretty mascara. I am not going to return it um, because I like kind of using it if I'm going to put on lashes because it does kind of um, define the lashes and gives a little bit of length but I don't think it does too much in the volume area. So yeah. And another one I wanted to update you. I gave this another shot. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. I have mine in Light Medium Honey. And if you don't know... This um, is a super hyped up concealer um, and normally I use, so normally this is the concealer I use. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer and I use mine in Honey and I freaking love that stuff. I have it on right now. Um, as you guys know, I'm a mom. I have really bad bags under my eyes. Um, we're not getting any younger, let's just be honest. And to be honest this does not cover them um i don't think it has the same kind of um coverage that a pot concealer has and i do find that this actually creases and a lot of people just rave so much about it and i'm i'm just not one of the ones that really kind of understands the whole hype about it but um I mean it's good if you don't have like really bad bags under your eyes um then it will give you the coverage that you need but it's just not for me 
so I think I might be giving that to someone that can have better use of it and the last thing um, is something that um, I left in my vanity so I don't have it on hand right now but um, it's the Marc Jacobs Remarkable foundation. I have mine in the shade 29. I gave it another shot the other day and I actually really really liked it. Um, once I had all my makeup on it definitely is um, severe full coverage and it's it can get cake face. You only need one layer and you don't even need that much because a little bit goes a long way. Um, but I think I'm gonna try next time to like mix it with a liquid illuminizer or something like that and I think that will um, kind of loosen up the cakiness of it but um, I actually didn't notice that it got cakey around my nose or anything like that but it's just like serious serious full coverage so if you're using that and you have dry skin um, I would definitely say to mix it with a moisturizer or um, like max strobe cream or um, maybe like a Becca Illuminizer or something like that, just so it doesn't look too, um, super full coverage and, like, super cakey on your dry skin. Um, but yeah, on me it wore pretty well throughout the day. I applied it in the morning and it almost looked pretty much the same at the end of the day when I was taking it off, um, the other night. So, yeah, I actually really like that and the golden shade 29, I think it's bis gold or something, it didn't pull green like the other shade that I had tried. So yeah, just uh, my tip is to kind of get color match, go to Sephora, make sure you find your right um, undertone and then it should work out for you. But yeah, I think that's all I have to share with you guys um, for my October favorites and hate it's. I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Um, make sure you hit that little red subscribe button down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.